All right, I'm gonna try to follow these three around. Work some of these chucker that are out here. And I just wanna show you how I'm handling these dogs. I'm using, one, my verbal cues um, that I've built over time. And I'm also using uh, my adversive sound, which is, ah! You see that dog up there even heard that and turned around. Um, pretty effective, right? So every time there's an adversive feeling, such as a tug on the lead, um, you know, a, a stem on the, on the collar, I'm overlaying that sound. Just as simple discouragement, meaning stop what you're doing at that time. Just stop, focus on me. And then I can follow out or follow through um, from there. So, whoa is going to be used out here. Um, this little dog's working something. But I'm going to use my whoa if I need to help a dog to honor. Um, my ah, if they move from that honor or move from that point will be my adversive sound to stop the movement. Once they stop, I will say whoa. And um, my whoa is more of a whoop. I back it up with a whoa, a good hard whoa. Looks like this guy's tracking something up here. kind of looking there's a lot of golfers around here too and these are all young dogs you know the black one there I think he's like six months the other one might be about eight nine this dog might be a year maybe all pretty nice dogs though this guy's got a gopher I almost guarantee it They'll track like that in the spring. And golfers are running all through here. And these young dogs haven't figured out the difference between gopher scent and bird scent. So they're just doing their job. Another gopher point up here. Suppose they do whistle to keep them moving. Hey, 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 hey! This guy looks like he's tracking something. Yeah, it could be gophers. Come through this way. Vader! Come on, Vade. Generally trying to keep the dog moving forward. And young dogs, not too concerned. Not pushing for any trial titles.
Manado! Hey, hey! Hey, hey! That dog isn't responding, so use a little stem. Dog's collar condition. I might tell you to use tone in certain instances, but when I use a verbal focus getter of hey, hey, I want to at least see the dog focus somewhat. So when I don't see that, I'm going to follow through with my stimulation and discourage the lack of unwanted movement just with the tiny burst of that stem and then um, follow through, right? If I needed the dog all the way to me, I could either stem and hold that on a very light level. Um, I could stem, stop what they're doing, discourage it, and then use my tone my body language and my verbal cues to uh, uh, gain maximum success. Come on, buds! Hey, 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 hey! Ain't moving. Ramp up your cadence. Cadence is very important when moving with a dog. So if they're out doing the right things, you're quiet. If they're not doing what you like, doing wrong things, you're using the appropriate cadence to reach through to the dog, our sharpness of voice teamed with cadence, all the above. Like this guy's working and I don't care if he's back behind me, right? I just want to get on a chucker. Hey, hey! Gonna change directions, hey, hey. Again, just like my whistle, um, focus, move with me. My body language tells them where I'm moving. Whatever way I'm facing is the way I'm moving. But see how they're getting into these gophers for lack of getting into birds, so. Come on, hey, 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 hey. Get them pumped up. Come on, hey, hey, yep. Sure, these guys act like it's gopher. Look. Yeah, the setter's a real nice dog. Real honest bird finder. So I trust him probably the most out here. Come on, Nelly. See when you get into this open. Just don't go for it. Yeah. All right, now. Bader's getting too far behind. Cut wind. I just added a little tone. Uh, you know, 
back that up with your fast cadence and really you could like if you were trialing a dog speed it up speed up your movement speed up your cadence it all goes together hey 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 that guy's trying to get behind me and really I should have caught him you know more at two o'clock instead of geez 8 30 so best to run one dog at a time funner to run multiple but find success with one move into all the others try to keep video in until we find a chucker in this sucker of sound I could use collar stem if the dog understood it to stop but these dogs don't yet ah, ah. So I'm just using that sound that I've used just to condition them just really stop um, I don't know maybe a harsher level of woe to them but really it's just that adversive sound to team with any adversive feeling any discouragement to stop what it's doing and reset and I don't think these guys have anything here so kind of look okay okay they can move Chucker is going to be awesome. And these dogs have been here probably a month and a half, all of them, I think. Yep, I think we've got two weeks left. All two month dogs. We're working real nice together. Just steady to wing, just nice hunting dog mainly probably pheasant dogs one will be going to Finland and working over there that setter up there he'll be a real nice pheasant dog weird to say kind of tracking but one thing I'll say too with a dog like him pointy and flashy got a big presence when these other dogs are working on honoring He's stopping and pausing like that. It's really hard to help condition these young dogs' mind that they don't have to stop. So, okay, okay. All right, Vader. So, like Vader here, I don't think he's got anything. So, I'm going to kind of hit a little tone 
And that, that just kind of brings them back. I didn't need them to come back, but probably not, you know, not something you want to do a lot just in case there is a bird here. And there very well could have been. Um, but that tone's light enough, you know, form of pressure that um, he'll rebound right back from that. I'm not worried. Come on, bud. Come on, Aldo. Where are these darn chuckers, guys? Maybe there'll be some over here. Look all day and then we'll get into some over right by the kennel. I just saw Aldo, that little black dog, kind of maybe hit with some real, you know, okay, okay, okay. You know, and then if I sense, like, hey, gopher, trying to move, and I'm just kind of thinking gopher now. Aldo! Come on. Thinking, bud. Getting tired, so he's thinking that everything smells a little better. At least in his mind. Stop, really soak it in. Think about it. Come on, bud. That's what's gonna make him a real nice pheasant dog. Come on. They're trying to change direction, turn the dog. Vader! Vader listens really well. Again, if they're out doing their thing, just leave them alone.
Sometimes this is the biggest battle of being a bird dog trainer is finding birds. Hey, 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 hey! Sway, hey, 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 hey! And those two dogs, I'm backing up with some tone. I'll get a little sticky right here. We were just through here too. And like I'm kind of watching this set or two as I'm moving and you know really I should probably just stop and get out of here because he's losing his real um desire to to search he's just kind of going through the paces thinking he's smelling stuff i want to end when they're like they want more more and more and more so just enough to get what you need into the mind hopefully find success if you don't get out of there pretty quick uh, it's typically not going to go better so you can reset and come back but oh, here we go. Whoa! This dog's got one right in front of her face. Whoa! There he kind of moves. Ah, ah. I'm giving my aversive sound. Ah. Just some gun dogs. Not worried about that steadiness. After the flush. Darn chuckers. Running, but cool. Just wanted to have that little video and kind of explain what I'm doing, how I'm moving with these dogs. My reasonings behind it. But again, everything was built. It's not just coming out here and saying these things. It's built in a low distraction area starting with the dog close to me um, on a lead place board finding success almost every time to build the behavior and link the association between uh, verbal cue and the behavior itself and then you're just using all the same things that you should be using in your everyday life with the dog to um, find success out in the field here See how this setter's just stopping. All right, bud. And we're back.